What is going on guys, Miles here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be doing the third episode of the guns in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, and this episode is going to be about the 205 Brecky, which is a shotgun in the game, and it's probably the best shotgun in the game in my opinion, as I make this video, and I've done gun guides for the Argus and the Cuda before, and when I did my Argus one, I said the Argus could be the best shotgun in the game, but since then I would definitely say the Brecky is the best shotgun in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, because it's insanely powerful, it's a 2-3 to three bullet kill, and I'll get into the details of that very shortly but it's a level one unlock which is really good for a start but you don't actually get it for free because you have to use an unlock token to unlock the uh, brecky despite it being a level one unlock but that's pretty good because it means everyone who watches this video can use the brecky as long as you have that one unlock token because it is a level one unlock which is really nice to see actually it means you don't have to use a prestige token to keep it through and stuff and it's a semi-auto shotgun so you can just spam the trigger on it because it doesn't have the pump action like the krm or the argus but it isn't fully automatic like the haymaker and because it isn't fully automatic to sort of balance that out they've extended the range on it compared to the haymaker which is what makes this one of the best shotguns in the game now it has a fire rate of 187 rounds per minute which is quite good for amongst the shotguns definitely better than the krm and the argus not not as great as the haymaker which has a fire rate of 300 rounds per minute so quite a big difference but you can put on rapid fire which will increase it by 6.4 percent which will increase it to 190 99 rounds per minute which is about three shots per second which is pretty decent in my opinion the rapid fire may not really be worth it but i'd probably throw it on if you've got it unlocked anyway now with the damage it's really weird because it depends on how many of the pellets hit the actual people so it can deal anywhere between 35 damage to 66 damage so it's going to be anywhere between a two and three bullet kill unfortunately it doesn't have like a lethal shot you can't kill someone in one bullet uh unlike a lot of the shotguns like the argus and the krm but you can kill them in two bullets and three bullets, but you'll never ever have to kill them in four bullets, unlike the Haymaker, I believe, which is what makes the Brecky really good. So it can it's often a two bullet kill, as long as you can get most of the pellets of the shotgun on the opponent, it's often a two bullet kill, and it shoots three bullets per second, well, a little bit over that. So it takes like two thirds of a second to kill someone with this gun which is pretty good and with its insane range like it's really good on maps like combine and stuff it's insanely good and it has 12 bullets in the mag which is pretty sufficient honestly like i said you're only going to be using two or three at a time not really four unless you like miss the first one so you'd not you don't have to worry about extended mags or anything but if you do want to use extended mags it will give you 17 bullets in the mag which is probably not advised in my opinion but if you want to use it whatever that's pretty cool and it also has 36 extra bullets in the stock so you can reload it quite a lot of times and you can get like easily a 20 kill streak with the amount of bullets in there and you can obviously pick up a weapon but i don't recommend using scavenger honestly because i mean you've got quite a lot of bullets you probably won't really use them all and if you do you can just like find another weapon on the floor because you'll be basically on a nuclear so that's pretty cool as for attachments with this gun a lot of guns in this game i like to put on loads of attachments but the brecky i honestly think it's not really worth putting on a lot of attachments maybe long barrel uh, i don't know how much it increases the range exactly by but i don't even know if it's worth it that much because it already has a pretty sick range and Possibly if you have it unlocked, I'd recommend rapid fire because like I said, it increased the fire rate by 6%, which is pretty cool almost making it 200 rounds per minute which is pretty mad actually but other than that i wouldn't even recommend any other attachments you can put on some optic sights i mean well actually when i use it i never aim down sights because it's always going to be a two or three bullet kill so you can just hit fire it and just hit them a couple of times and that's on that's honestly one of the best methods in my opinion just actually hit firing it because it's not going to make a huge difference to anything if you actually uh, aim down sights and it's just going to limit you in those ways so i just hit fire it wouldn't put on any sights wouldn't put on like attachments which are used for when aimed on sites like quick draw or stock or even laser sight. I wouldn't bother with laser sight because I mean laser sight's not going to make it like any less bullets to kill. So you might as well just have the spread so you can hit more targets accurately. So honestly, I'd stay low on the attachments, uh, maybe long barrel or rapid fire. And I would just stack up the perks. Uh, you can probably rock six perks if you just had the brecky on its own, which isn't honestly a bad idea. As for perks, I'd recommend uh, ghost probably because you're going to be running around quite a lot and afterburner as well you rock the perk one greed and if you don't want to use ghost or afterburner you can throw on flak jacket but uh, not great or sixth sense that's a pretty good one as well but for perk two i'm not a huge fan of the perk twos honestly and i don't think many of them work super well with uh the brecky maybe the maybe the what's it called oh no i forgot the name of it 
Oh, it's not even a perk too. Maybe like hardwired or cold blooded. Or, but other than that, I wouldn't even bother. Actually, tracker, tracker. That is what I was thinking of. Uh, use the tracker on the brekkie. But other than that, I wouldn't. I don't really know any perk twos which would be definitely worth using. And as for perk three, I'd definitely recommend tactical mask as well as dead silence because you're going to be running around a lot and you want to be silent whilst doing so, or else people will just hear you and they'll wreck you. So you want to be having on dead silence and awareness. The reason I didn't choose awareness is because it actually got nerfed recently and now a lot of people think it's not really worth using if you're just playing pubs. So I wouldn't bother with awareness and I'd put on tactical mask as well because stun grenades and flash grenades in this game are insanely annoying and I would avoid them at all costs so that is my Brecky best class setup I absolutely love this gun definitely try it out if you haven't already maybe like let me know what you think of it down in the comments below and also let me know what gun you'd like to me you'd like me to like make a review on next I'll be happy to do so but overall I hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos and I'll see you guys in my next video